in at the small fold. And Bill, of the championships you've watched the Celtics win, do you have a favorite? I do, actually. 1984, came back against the Lakers in the Kevin McHale clothesline game. <laughs> Brought them back to the Garden for Game 5. It was so hot, Kareem had to wear the oxygen mask. And then finished them off in Game 7. Rambis was the recipient of that clothesline, he was. wasn't he? Yes. He deserved it. It's not like he didn't deserve it. <laughs> but the Celtics were just tougher that year. And I try to forget that the next year they came back and beat the Celtics. Well, Zeldick shooting their first free throw. Uh, that's the sort of attitude you like seeing from Porter. I mean, he knows he can sink shots off the pass. And what happened? I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. Bill, you host your own podcast. I've listened to it. I subscribe to it. Thank I you. I love it. Prepare for a living. Like JJ is clearly going to go into media after he retires. Richard Jefferson had a great podcast. He's gone into media. He's really good. Yes. So I think he, he fins off the contact well and finishes in style. Shoot from 14. Again, the Celtics good reporter, David Aldridge. I briefly spoke with Jim Boylan. Well, the term coach used to describe the first three games against the Celtics this year was nightmarish. He elaborated, saying... Badly out-rebounded. It's all clicked into place for him this quarter. He's like, oh, watch out. Watch out. A little extra on that one, didn't he? Chase stirring up the pot in challenge mode. What story clicks the best with an athlete? How to tell whatever story they have correctly. He had a tremendous night for Shea drives in, and Shea throws it down. Really like rebound, Boston. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Remarkable consistency from deep. Every game, especially on the road. They were around you, and you have to have like six or seven awesome people that you completely trust who can help you do stuff. Because it's a and tip it out. We're just trying to prevent the opposition from getting comfortable. Next time, that one might get picked. And Bill, we've seen more and more teams base their offenses around three-point shoot. Threes are at an all-time high. The breakdown, and they can't capitalize. He'll hit that shot almost every time. Yep, it counts. And now it that's just great touch. The teardrop. Oh, that's all about fear. And the dunk by Jay. Well, it's been this way for most of the night. Jay displaying the vast arsenal on the offensive end. Did by Hayward. Young's shot is off. Look, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should be easy. Shea climbs in, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the court. Hayward out there with Daniel Tice. Then it's Shea. Then there's Smart, and it's Poirier in its center. That's the Boston number of points, and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Ojale is checked in for Daniel Tice, and Murray subbed in for Gordon Hayward. Poirier passes to Chain, and Chain throws it down. There's an intimidation factor to Che's game. Poirier passes to Che. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. He's kept the integrity from the injury where um, there would be times where he just didn't want to drive in traffic and bounce off people and run and drive in traffic and bounce off people and play in the air. And if you watch him in Utah, that was all the stuff that made him special. Mm -hmm. Two times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. The pass to Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. There's some things you just can't. The hot start from beyond. They've got the way from shooting the triple. And always as enlightening as you're going to find. Bill, thank you so much for your insights. Always appreciate you joining us. I hope you come back. And Tatum pulls it down. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And he lays in the alley-oop. A nice, silky finish on Led by as many as 14 points. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, and you see right there, Chase's ability to read the defense and make the run. Now, he's always accepting new ideas. They've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. 
mid-season tournament, a postseason play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very... Let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. Shea outside. Cantor. And Cantor able to finish. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. From the baseline. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Again, what an avalanche! He's been at... Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Jay left side. That one goes. Count it. It's going to cost and laden by nine. Jay with it. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. And that one is good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row. That is off. For Boston, they've gone 7 to 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Oh, and the lead. And here's Jay looking for Hayward. He gets it there. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Oh, you're spacing the floor, which gives them room to drive. And if you're really working on your game, you can really make your teammates better because now you have more passing moves because you're further away uh, from the basket. So as any post player knows, it's a blessing to be surrounded by great shooters. And now big... Just over a minute played here in the fourth. It's good. Jay's got four top players on a top team with Boston. Fits their system perfectly and really the sky is the limit for that young man. Efficiency. I mean, that's an area where Walker... They need this. Trying to get open is Carter. Arkanen can't get it to go. Celtics leading by 21. Another bucket! Wow! And this game has his... Not his best day from three-point range. I mean, just one in the first half and still looking for his first tier in technology. So first of all, kudos to the refs that go out and give it their best every day. We have the best refs in any of sports, I believe. And we still need to improve on that. The league recognizes that. And, I... and stolen by Murray. Shade drive and again. Up and up. He goes as he continues this sensational season. Now closing in on second 86 points from back in 63. Speaks volumes for the season he's had. And another one falls. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal. And, and Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got seven rebounds in the game. A drive by Chase. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're playing for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Jay outside. Good, that's another bucket. Got his first points in this one. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. The drive by Chip and of his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Pulls it from the elbow. He got it again. About how the All Star game, that system, is not working. He's been proactive in considering alternatives. What do you think? Well, I love what he's done already. Let's think about the All-Star game in 2019. Uh, letting guys pick their players like old school on the park. I mean, that will see play out on the floor with how hard guys are playing. And, and see, Webb, you talk to the Bulls fans, and they are eager for a return to greatness. Again, no good by Chicago. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Oh, that's just fearless in his approach. I love seeing Che attack the heart of that defense. Free throw, good. Che, and with a younger generation of fans cutting the court. Adam Silver has talked about ways, Chris, to make the games, the NBA games, more accessible. 
Yeah, and as a guy, Kevin, that played on the West Coast, I know many people aren't happy with this idea, but I say move the games up an hour. Move it to 6 o'clock so that I could watch LeBron on the West Coast when I'm living on the East Coast and, uh, with the access that fans have from some type of mobile device. Uh, I, I, I just love it. I love it. 114 left in the game. Count that was a dazzling game for Jay. What a teammate he was tonight, setting guys up for layups and open jumpers on, on what seemed like every possession. For the three, connects again. And this game has... From deep three-point range, missed. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being... The regular season is in the books. For Chris Webber, Greg Anthony, and David Owens, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. next time.